The next power of the Prime Minister is that he's got the power to remove the ministers. Now, when can he remove the ministers? The Prime Minister can remove a erring minister if he is not satisfied with the working of that particular minister or the minister's department where he is in charge. So, he can ask that particular minister to quit for efficiency. Let us now see how the Prime Minister is a link between the President and the Cabinet. The Prime Minister conveys the decision of the Cabinet to the President. So the Prime Minister conveys all the decisions taken by the Cabinet to the President. So whatever the Cabinet makes a decision, so it is conveyed through the Prime Minister. Without the permission of the Prime Minister, no minister are allowed to discuss a particular problem with the President. So they cannot have a link directly with the President. They have to go through the Prime Minister. Only if the Prime Minister gives the permission to the Minister, he can address the problem to the President. So that's why the Prime Minister becomes a link between the Cabinet and the President. Now, for example, take your example. Can you straight away go and meet the principal of the school? No. You go through your teacher and then the headmistress and then the headmistress, if she gives you permission, then you meet the principal. Same way, the prime minister becomes a real head over here and the president becomes a nominal head. So the prime minister only link is a link between the cabinet and the president. As a chief advisor to the president, the president seeks the advice of the prime minister in all matters of the state. In all matters of the state means it is a country. Taking important decisions, uh, having foreign relationship, all that, the president seeks the advice of the prime minister. And uh, the prime minister in, keeps him informed, keeps the president informed of all the decisions taken by the cabinet. So the prime minister becomes a chief advisor to the president. So let's take a quick recap of the functions that we learned in the next three, that is the removal of the ministers. If the prime minister is not satisfied with the working of a minister, he can ask the erring minister to quit. And he becomes the link between the cabinet and the president. So no minister is given permission to directly meet the president, but it is through the prime minister. So as a chief advisor, the president seeks the advice of the prime minister in all matters of the state.